Okay, today we're going to do a quick tutorial on Haas probing. We're going to show a probe. There it is. Uh, we're going to probe the center of a block from a corner. And the corner is the top left hand corner of the block. So you go over to your control, hit MDI program and on your screen you'll see it bring you to this manual mode it's called hit end if you haven't already done this and then VQC will highlight in red and then you hit enter and it says to load a different template press F2 F2 and then enter again and that brings you to your probing template you only have to do that the first time you start the machine up for the day uh, every time you shut it off, it resets. So anytime you shut the machine off, you have to go through and do that again. All right, so we're going to use spindle probe 1 through 9, which is already highlighted. So hit enter. Brings up these formats here, or templates, whatever you'd call them. Highlight this one here, and it'll tell you right there. Probe center block, start from center. We actually want that one is the one all the way in the bottom right hand corner. Probe center of block from corner. And it shows you that little circle in the top left corner. It shows you that that's where you want to start with the probe. So you just jog the machine to that point and then you want to get a rough idea of the size of the block. So it's 14 and an eighth roughly long and it's seven inches wide. So, you input your parameters. So, now that we've highlighted that, you hit enter. Uh, the work offset I'm going to use is 57. Hit enter. X width is 14.1. Y width is 7. Z depth, we're going to use minus 0.4. And we're going to hit 3 for where to run it. All right, and that pushes the program over to MDI. Now once you've jogged the machine into position, all you have to do is put it in MDI and you can run the program. Now one thing I wanted to mention is when you put your Z distance in, it's the distance from wherever you jog the machine that's where it counts that Z minus 0.4 inches, okay? So it's not minus 0.4 from the top of the material, it's minus 0.4 from wherever you stop the machine jogging. So if I go into hand jog right now, and I move it up and down in the Z, wherever I stop moving it, it's gonna go 0 0.4 of an inch from that point. Sorry about the compressor. So I'm gonna go into MDI now, Press cycle start. Goes over to the middle. That'll be the G57 and Z0. Now it's going to touch on both ends of the block. That's your X0. offset menu, and there you have it, it's all set and it's very accurate, that's all for right now, check out the other videos on YouTube, thanks.